everybody. It's Carol with O'Brien Custom Turning. I have finally finished this fifth panel of the five panel seascape I've been working on. I didn't take time to show you all of it as I was working on it because it's been pretty rough working on it. I ended up with this panel alone running out of probably 10 to 15 different colors. I had diamonds stuck together. I had patterns that I couldn't read. It was terrible. Um, this whole thing with all five panels took me five years to finish at the rate of one panel a year. Now, of course, I did many, many, many other things in between it, but it is finally done. Yay! Um, so the plan tonight, I am going to let you sit with me a little bit while I release this one from the table, and then I'm going to seal it and move it out of my way, and then this one is the next one. Now, I have kind of no idea what's in this package. I sort of know what's in here because I have three customs from Evermoment that I've ordered right now using um, public domain photos, but I don't know which one of the three this is. I just know I said I wanted to do one of my three customs. Now, when they came in, I opened them and I checked everything and I inventoried so I know everything is there that needs to be, but again, I don't know what's there. So we'll open it together and get set up and I'll kit up and let you watch while I do that. So first thing with this one, we need to release it from the table. Now this is just packing tape that I put on to hold it in place. And if you've been hanging with me, the reason why you know that my vision is really bad. And when I start out, I have to have it way down close to me to use my magnifier so I can see and I have to have the tape to hold it in place. So I just keep using the tape and move it up the table as I go. So it is time to pull this tape off the table. This table is an extremely old table. It is one of the first pieces of furniture that Sean and I purchased when we first got married. So it is more than 25 years old because we just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. So this is the seal I'm going to use, and I'm being very careful. I don't want to shake it or disturb it, but it is Minwax Polycrylic Clear Gloss in the blue can. So just release my lid and give it a little bit of a stir. This is, I think, painting number five or six that I've sealed with this can, and it's still, you can see, it's got a third left at least. And I used this to do two coats on my Last Supper. And that's a huge painting. That's four foot by eight foot. So there's plenty in this can. I used just a regular foam brush. And my method may be a little different than your method. I'm just going to dump some on and smear it around. Now when I do um, DAC paintings, I do not seal them. For two reasons. One, because that voids the warranty. And two, because I don't need to. Because their diamonds all stay on where they're supposed to be. Now, I've asked the question myself many times. Once my painting's done, why would I need my warranty anymore? And I can't get a good answer for that. And I really don't, don't know why it would matter anymore. Because, again, once the painting's done, I'm not going to do it again. And But it voids my warranty and they're going to stay on anyway with the DAC painting. So I do not seal my DAC paintings, but all of my other ones, I do seal them. If it's a painting that's really bad, I seal it even as I go. So I am just, I had enough on this one. I got kind of carried away that I am not going to need any more. That amount you watched me pour on there was more than enough. And you can see I'm going both directions. Up and down and then side to side. And you can see this is a tiny, tiny little bit cloudy as it goes on. But it will dry completely clear. And you can see right here, see that little space? That was a river in my canvas. I flattened it out the best I could with my X-Acto knife to get the air out of it. But couldn't make it go away completely. Hopefully once we get it behind the glass it won't show. Now this one, when it is done and dry... I will take silver blue washi tape that matches the other ones 
and go all the way around the outside and then I will put it in a silver frame to match the other ones and then it's going to go up on the wall in our bedroom. Now what I'm doing here, I have a spot where a diamond came out. So provided I can find that spot again, yeah, I see it. And I have no idea what color goes there. It's just blue. So I'm going to stick any blue diamond in there and then get some sealer on it and it will be fine. You know, some ladies worry about they save their sticker sheets for if a diamond falls off later. I don't worry about that. If I put something similar in there, nobody will ever know what color that was supposed to be, including me. So, that is that. Put the lid back on. And I am going to go and rinse my popsicle stick or, and my foam brush and put my Minwax away and slide this to a safe spot. And then we will open that other painting. Yeah, I think we are ready to open this one from Evermoment. They always have such pretty purple tubes with the ribbons on them. I don't even know for sure which end is the open end. And like I said, I have opened this already once. Maybe give you a little clue. Get a peek at these colors. I guess that's not too much of a clue. I tell you what, I am very thankful that it's not blue because I'm so tired of working on blue. Actually very pleased that it's this one and hold that up for you so you can see so that is my time piece is which one this one is so we have a total of 45 different colors and generally the ever moment symbols are very very nice to read now notice this is a change with ever moment from my last one anyways. I don't know if it's a change from them or just since I used them last, but this is poured blue instead of the two-sided because it's got the clear cover, which means we will not have any rivers, which is a lovely thing. Okay, so I am testing for size is what I am doing first. And this is going to fit on my table just fine this way. If it didn't fit, I share this table with Caitlin for packaging. And if it didn't fit this way, I always have the option to turn it the other way. And I may do that anyways and work this one sideways. Just because instead of working it all the way across that way, if I work it across this way, and I would of course have this part down in my lap, but that way I'm only taking up this much space going across the table and I get to push it up the table a little more frequently because I'm only going across this far. And then all I do is I take my legend and turn it sideways as I'm working with it. So we'll decide that when I'm ready to set it up, but I think I maybe will work it on the side instead of long ways. So I also have... So this one, when it's done, is going to go in my hallway. I have a big, long, long 15 to 20 foot hallway down between our two bedrooms and bathroom that this one will go in at the very end of the hallway. There will be at least two timepiece related paintings at the end of that hallway, if not three. And so then here are some more of the colors that go to this one. And again, I checked these all in when it came in, so I know I'm good. My little baggies, I don't use these for diamond painting, but I do save them because we use them to send out stainless steel tips with. So I save all of those. Um, Ever Moment always sends a roll of washi tape that is name branded for them. It has either generally purple or pink. So this roll is purple. And then my tool kit. I 
I have my boat. I likely will not use my bo this boat because I have this one that I hot glued a piece of release paper to the back. So I can put that on top of my painting and it won't stick. So I just keep using that one, but I do have my boat, my pen with the foam grip. Again, I use custom pens, so I won't use this one because it wouldn't be big enough for my hands. That's why I use the custom pens because it hurts my hand. A multi-placer for people who like the multi-placers. For me, I can't use those because I don't have good enough vision. I can barely handle doing a single one, so certainly not multis. Um, another macaroon with several little wax pieces. Looks like four pieces. Yes, four pieces of wax. And I'll just leave those in there to keep them from getting dried out. And a set of tweezers. One of the nice sharp ones. Every moment's got a great reputation for having nice, sharp, good tweezers. And I'm just gonna leave those covered and set them aside until I need them because my tweezers right now are still in really good shape. So until I need this pair, I'm just gonna set these aside. Okay, so what to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, show you the rest of the colors. I have more colors. That's what to do first. Show you more colors. More colors. So there's lots of dark colors in this painting, but that's okay, it's not blue. That last painting, believe it or not, there between the five panels, there were over a hundred different colors and not one 310. But oh my goodness, the blacks, it's terrible. Or the blues, not the blacks, the blues. There was no black, but I was so tired of blues, especially since they were too big for the holes and didn't fit. And so I think what I'm gonna do, I am gonna work this one sideways. I have decided that. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready to go. So here's how I work my paintings. Sean fixed this up for me. It is a PVC pipe. It goes all the way the length of my table. It's four foot long because I had to have that when I did my last supper. So I get the edge of my painting, whichever side I'm gonna work, it does not matter. Six of one, half dozen of the other. And my handy dandy packing tape. Get it as straight as I can because I'm then gonna roll it. And I am just going to tape this to the edge of my painting. Had my scissors in easy reach a moment ago. That's a frequent trait of mine. Lay them down and walk away and then can't find them. There they are. Oh, and there's my second pair. I see them. They're hiding underneath the bags. So again, just packing tape all the way down. And the reason I have to do this again is because of my vision. I can't use it on my table because I can't see that far. I have to be right on top of the section I'm working on. I don't put my washi tape all the way around. I do it when I get to the section that I'm working on. Okay, and then once that's taped, I simply roll. Unroll that part. And I want about that much on the table. So then that part I am going to take down all the way across. And when I'm ready to start working that, either tonight, if it hits me that I want to start working, or tomorrow, then I will pull this first section back right here and put the washi tape on across the top and then down the side. And again, since this table is so old, it's been stripped so many times that it does not matter that I'm taping directly to my tabletop. If we have company and need to use the table, I just simply pull out my handy dandy tablecloth. Now my legging sheet, I 
I also have here their statement of diamonds that they use. And they talk about the difference between resin and acrylic diamonds and also how you tell the difference. And they actually use resin diamonds. It's part of what makes Ever Moment stand apart as one of the companies with a higher reputation. And then with their legend, always super, super easy to read. Tells you how to inventory on the back if you don't know how to do that. And tells me that in my small bags, there's between 160 and 200 in each one. And if I have a big bag here, I don't see one right close. But if I have a big one, that there could be up to 1,000 in my bags. So that then I know how to count them. Tells me how to contact customer service and then where to find them on Facebook. Here is my actual legend itself that tells me my color numbers. I have 45, my different symbols for my painting. This is my DMC number. And then again, how many of each diamond color I need for this painting. And that I already checked in as I started it. So I know I have enough of each diamond color. As I get started, I'm going to use the DMC numbers and set up a container for each one. And I'll have containers to put my diamonds in. I will take this sheet over to my color printer and I will enlarge this and make it a bigger copy so that then I can hopefully see these symbols and then with my magnifier to help me also. And then since I'm working the painting this way and the way I know that because the name is up here so I put the top of my piece of paper that way and then all of my symbols will look this way. So I just make my symbols face the same direction as my painting. And when we start painting, I'll pull you in for a more close-up look. But as we did this, I wanted you to be further back so that you could see me seal that other one and get started on working on this part. So the first thing I do on this is set up my sticker sheets. And those two were laying right over here in reach. There they are. And I'm just going to go through and make a sheet for each number in order. If I'm using a DAC painting, for example, I do lots of DACs, I may use my same diamonds and containers that I've used before. I have not done an ever moment in quite some time. So I don't want to mix the diamonds in case the drill lots are different. So that's why I'm doing completely standalone containers on this one, rather than mixing them with what I already have. This is, for me, my least favorite part. I know that some of you love this part and you just live for the day that you can set up and not me least favorite part of it. I almost wish that we could choose to have kits come already pre-set up, ready to go. Don't know why. I think it's the cutting open and do, undoing all those little bags. I just don't like that even a little bit. Of course, I hate kitting down also. Kitting down is even worse, I think, than kitting up. But it's a necessary part, so we do it. Unfortunately, while I'm counting and doing numbers like this, it's a little harder for me to stop and chat with you because my brain just sometimes does not like to do multiple things at once and it'll do funny things. I don't know if you remember or not the day that I let you chat with me while I was signing pink cards for our breast cancer awareness campaign and I couldn't even sign my own name and talk at the same time. That's pretty bad. You know, I've been writing my name for ages and ages. These sticker sheets actually came with my containers when I got them. I got them on Amazon. Had them for a very long time and I really like them. The set that I pulled out tonight are my smaller set. They're these, meaning they only hold 24 in a container. I also have sets that hold 64 in each one, and I actually prefer the 64 
but those are all in use right now. I don't have any that are empty, so I'll use the smaller ones for this painting. I don't know how to judge yet on a guess on how long this one will take me. I anticipate it certainly is going to be faster than the last one I did because the diamonds and pattern and everything will be nice to work with. Compared to that blue, it was just it. It's horrible. I started working on that, I think it was back in October. And a painting that was um, 60 by 40, I think. And a 40 by 60 should not have taken me as long as that took. That was terrible. That should have. I should have flown through that. But it is what it is, I suppose. With the holidays and... This one, I don't see that it says anywhere what size it is, so I'll have to measure it or look it up for you sometime when it's finished. For me, there is just something special about timepieces and old world maps. So the end of my hallway <coughs> with this one is going to have the timepieces, the piece, two pieces, and then old world maps down there too. So. At least two of the pieces down there are planned to be on blank canvases. So those should be fun to do, and I'll let you hang with me and show you how I work those and set them up and everything. Okay. Generally, when I do that, I skip at least one number, but we find it as we go through. So no harm, no foul, doesn't matter. Tends to be my philosophy in life, generally. I learned that from Caitlin. She is a very laid back kind of girl that, you know, life is too short. It's not worth getting stressed out about anyway. So just go with the flow and, you know, we certainly do things to the best of our ability and do the best you can. But if you can't control something, there's no point in getting stressed out about it anyway. So, so I'm just putting all these on. Now, I don't operate with the what color number it is, if it's, you know, color number one or color number two, or to me, that doesn't matter. The only thing I care about is the DMC number. I also don't put the symbol on my containers because I don't need to. I'll look on my legend as I go. So when I look at my legend, it will tell me the symbol is DMC color, whatever, and then I'll go to my containers to find out what color that is. So with having, how many did I say? 45 colors, we're going to need two containers. That's not too bad. When I did the Nativity by Dona Gelsinger, that one had 239 colors. So that one, I had to have three of my big containers and that one was a little bit hard to juggle I used pattern keeper on that one because so many of the symbols are so similar you know when you're doing 239 colors certainly you're gonna have symbols that are very close looking to the naked eye and since my eyes are not great anyway to start with I needed the extra help of pattern keeper and that's how I do all of my blank canvases is with pattern keeper Look at that. I have 46 total. And I'm supposed to have 45. So that makes someone scratch their head and say, hmm. So that means I likely put a number that I didn't need, which is no problem. That'll just be an empty container as I put them together. 
So I choose to number them all and put them in order this way first. And that way, as I start cutting them open, they will be ready to go. So I will need my boat as I go. Okay, number 435. Now I learned from somebody in one of the groups the other day that packages all have a top and a bottom and the seals or seams are on the top, left, and bottom. And your top does not have the seam on it. So that's how you know which is the top if you have numbers that could go one way or the other. The top does not have the seam on it. So I learned that in a group the other day. I did not know that. All my time I've been painting and I had never learned that. But I actually cut mine off from the side. For me is the easiest way. And then I dump them in the container the best that I can. And if I'm lucky, we get all of them in there, which we did, except for this one that's being stubborn. Yay. And if I miss, hopefully I get them in the boat and not all over my table. That happens at least once, sometimes more. Oh, this is one of the bigger packages they were talking about. 3033. I like these Tic Tac containers compared to some of the other styles because I can manage them one-handed and I can flip them open with my thumb. Compared to some of the others, I wouldn't be able to do that. So for me, that just works really well. Especially if I'm trying to hold my spot with my right hand. That was a black diamond. I'm not sure part where it came from. I haven't opened anything black yet. But that was a black diamond, so I just put it over my little saucer over there is where all the extra diamonds go. 3862. I've worked paintings two different ways. I either fill my containers and then continue to fill containers with as many containers as it takes for one color, or I use a zipper bag to store all my extra ones in. This time I'm gonna store my extra ones, I think. And just not open them until I need them. I've tried cutting across and opening three or four of them at a time. But I make a mess when I do that, so it's just best to not do it that way. You learn what works for you. Make a mess too many times, and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, no. Not for me anymore. 317. 317 is a pretty popular color in a lot of paintings. 317 is a slate gray color. So it will be one. I'll only open one package of this because they're the bigger sizes. And this one package will pretty nearly fill my container. And then I will set these other two packages in this freezer bag. It says five on it because it was number five for my last five panel. That's for the fifth panel, but I can certainly use that again. Ah! Oh. Blue, UGG, 939 is um, navy blue. Very, very popular color in most paintings. Also very similar to the um, three tens when you put the blue and the black side by side. Sometimes it's really hard to tell them apart. Used for shadings, of course, when you get them side by side. I had a lot of Three of uh, 939s in my last the seascape painting. No 310s though, just the 939s. $37.90, this tan color. Now sometimes when I have a really big painting, like with my last supper, I had a whole lot of extra beads. So I actually divided them into several Ziploc bags divided by color. So I had one bag had, oh, look at there, see? One bag had everything for the colors up to a thousand. Another bag had everything up to the two thousands, 
for example. I don't remember how I had them divided exactly, but it was based on, you know, the different, whatever colors were in that painting, they were divided up. So I can tell just looking at these diamonds already that they are better than the ones I've been working with. They are all uniform size, uniform shape. They're all the correct shape. They're not rounded on the bottoms. There's no nibs sticking out. And it's definitely nice when you're getting ready to start a new project and rather than opening it and saying, oh no, these diamonds are terrible, looking at it and saying, oh, these are very nice for a change. So, Sean was telling me he thought I should work on one of my draglings, but I really don't have a spot planned on the walls for those yet, which is funny because I own the whole collection, but don't have a spot planned on the walls for them. So, I felt like it was better to go ahead and work on one of these customs because I do have a spot planned for them. So, we'll get this one done and up on the wall. and I don't know, hopefully three months maybe, I hope. I don't know, maybe I can fly through it and get it done faster than that. And then even get the, net, the second custom finish and fill that whole wall. These two are going to both go on the same wall, one on top of each other is how they're going to go on the wall. That color was 413, another gray. Get rid of these. Maybe this is why I don't like kitting up, because I don't like the paper, the plastics laying there. And I know it's easy to just throw them over into the trash, but it's just one of those things that I just don't like that. Uh, 938 is a brown. Well, we shared on our personal page yesterday, I came across a new group, a lady who her whole family is gluten-free, and she does gluten-free recipes. So I was looking around on her page, and she had some gluten-free strawberry crumble with oatmeal. So I made that yesterday for the first time. I'm, I have never made any gluten-free desserts at all. Caitlin's made a couple. I've never made any. And it was very good. I was very happy with that, especially for gluten-free. Because, you know, the you always worry with being gluten-free if it's going to taste as good. And, and I was happy with that. I used a Red Mill one-on-one -on -one flour. So you use the exact same amount of flour that you'd use in a regular recipe. And then I used coconut sugar, also in a one-on-one. -on -one. So instead of brown sugar, you use, use the exact same amount of coconut sugar. So that's very, very easy. I still had beige diamonds left in that one, or gray diamonds, in the last painting. This 400, 400 is another one of the browns. It was a lot of 400s when I did the Last Supper painting. I remember that color. I haven't decided yet what we'll try next. Maybe some banana bread when my bananas get older. Although bananas don't usually get old in this house, but we'll see. Three, eight, Two, two. Oh, well, see, that's a problem because I already have something in the 3822 box. Another reason why I hate kidding up. So, one wonders what I put in the wrong, what should go in this box. So, I will put them in an empty box for now. I'm sure one of you caught it as I did it and was yelling, no, 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 that's wrong. And I will put those in the right box when we discover what they are. This is general, generally my, my norm when I kit things up. I have at least one that gets dumped in the wrong box. Generally at least one that I dump all over my painting. I've already done that tonight too, so maybe I won't do that again. 
Typically, at least one time, I will mix two colors together because I get distracted. You know, the cat will walk through and distract me or Sean will call me or Caitlin will call me or something. So, so be watching. I'm sure those things will happen. guess it'll be the very end when we figure out what color that's supposed to be though, huh? Okay. My three tens. The good news is there's only three small packages of three ten. So there's not a lot of three tens in this painting. Interestingly, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I don't have a lot of packages of different colors, which is funny for 46 colors, but I guess that's because my last several paintings have been 60 or more colors, so I'm feeling like I should have more. We'll see when I'm done. Secret, I've already inventoried. I know they're all there, so... That's kind of a spoiler when you already know you're going to have all of them. Three hundred. We had lots of that one in the Last Supper for down by their feet on the tape on the floor. We're expecting a big snowstorm coming in this next week, which means that may impact the mail. We're running a little bit ahead of the processing times that we told people to be expecting. So hopefully everybody will be pretty patient with that anyway. My other big project this week, sadly, has been working on last year's taxes. Another project that is not among my favorite things to do. But that's just, you know, that's part of it. So we save all of our receipts all year long and have to have, we um, obviously send in all of our income from both Etsy and PayPal and add it all up and pay our quarterly taxes, of course. And that still takes a little while to get it all compiled and submitted at year end. Green color, 730. Looking at my picture, I don't know where there's much green in there. I guess we shall see. feel like the stack's getting smaller. Does this stack look like it's getting smaller to you? I don't feel like it's getting smaller. I mean, it obviously has to be getting smaller, but I don't feel like it's getting smaller. What I need to do is sweet talk Caitlin into doing this for me, because she loves to sort and organize and color coordinate and that kind of stuff. This would be right up her alley of things she would enjoy doing. 
since she doesn't like to diamond paint, that would let her experience part of it. 3866. Sean's off back in his office playing Snow Runner. Usually it's Farm Sim, but he just added Snow Runner this past month. So. Farm, farming Sim has been joined by SnowRunner. It's the newest challenge of the hour. That's some more 840s. We already have 20 840s in our container. Maybe that's why these look like there's so many, because there's some duplicates. Yeah, there we go. There's more 317s, and my container has some already. I probably could fit a small one in there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that with the 317s too. Because that's more, one less to do later, right? give you the big bags and then put the little ones separately instead of tying them all together since it's a different size. And what I don't want to happen, of course, is open a bag and have it not fit. That's another one of my tricks though. I like to do that too. I'll be setting up one and be dumping them in and have too many open and they won't fit. That's status quo for me. Who knew there were so many ordeals to diamond painting? My mom is working on two super size projects right now from Heaven and Earth Designs. She's doing one as a cross stitch pattern. She's doing the Nativity, the same one that I did, except she's doing a super size by Dona Gelsinger. And then she's doing Tiger Family in the Jungle as a diamond painting. And that one is so big that it's taking her four canvases to do. So she divided it into four canvases. And she's got one of them almost finished. So she says it's going to take her probably three years to finish both of those projects. And what she does is she works on the cross stitch in the morning while she sits on the couch with my dad and they watch the news and such. And then in the evening, she does her diamond painting in the other room while dad watches sports and whatever on TV. Surprised my family hasn't come out looking for that rest of that strawberry crumble yet because I told them that's what we have for dessert before we go into bed tonight. That bag was a little bit staticky, not too bad, just a little bit, not a little bit staticky. So I suppose, worst case, if I can't figure out what color that is, I'll just go back and watch this video and see what color I dumped in there that I shouldn't have. That'll tell me.
line. I don't need to worry about those single little straggler beads, you know, since they give you so many extras, but I always try to make sure I get all of them that way just in case, because I have ended up shorted on many a project. making a mess. Goodness. Oh, I hear footsteps. So either he conquered the snow or he's looking for strawberries, one of the two. No. No. I didn't want to interrupt. No, but I told them that you were playing Snow Runner and that you were going to be looking for Strawberry Crumble before bed. Absolutely. So, so I already told them to be expecting that. So, did you sit down yet? Not yet. Oh, come and see which painting this is. So I'm doing one of the customs from Ever Moment, and I told them I knew it was one of three because I have three customs, but that's the one we're doing. Awesome. So I showed them how you set up for me to tape to the table so that I can see and keep it down in front of me, and now we're just happily putting diamonds in tubs. Except for I put these in the wrong container. So I'm hoping I figure it out at the end. If not, somebody's going to be yelling at me and telling me which ones they are. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go watch a video and let you finish up. Okay, baby. Caitlin showed you the pictures that Patrick's bearded dragons finally woke up. So we let him out of the tank during the daytime, and then he goes back in the tank at nighttime, of course, to keep him safe. But during the daytime, we let him out. The last couple days, he's discovered our wood pile in by our wood burning stove. 
and it's so funny to watch him because he will just scamper all the way up to the top of the wood pile and he spent most of the day today sitting up on top of the wood pile and then when he got cold he scampers back down and he likes to go sit underneath my desk because I have a baseboard heat down there so he'll go under my desk and curl up right next to the heater but he stayed up on top of that wood pile for the longest time today it was funny the cat will just sit there and watch. I'm like, what are you doing, man? I'm hoping now that he's getting out and about and around that he decides that it's worth staying awake for a while. It feels like he slept for a really long time. So that was four big packages of three tens. That'll help make this process go a lot faster if I'm throwing those big packages in the bucket. With an Evermoment painting, at least the last ones I've done, generally even the three tens are nice. So I would be very surprised if they're not. At least every other ever moment painting I've done, they have been fine. Now, see, this is one that, you know, you turn which direction. But since I know from all of my other ones that the clear part is up at the top, so this is how it goes. So this is 936. Sometimes words just escape me. And it's like, I know what word I want, but it doesn't want to come out. So it's funny when we're at CAP, because Caitlin goes with me, of course. You know, it's because of her that I'm in CAP. And we'll be at CAP, and I'll be teaching or whatever, and I'll be trying to get a word and cannot get it to come out. And I'll just look at Caitlin, and she generally will know what word I want, and she'll say it for me. And so lately, the past few weeks... Even one of my other senior members, because we've been members of the same squadron for five and a half years now. So even one of my other senior members was doing it last week when I couldn't think of a word I wanted. He was finishing my sentences for me. I told him it's sad. We've been, you've known us so long now that you can finish my sentences for me. We're hoping that we don't get canceled this week because of the weather. Because obviously if we're having snow and bad weather, we won't let the cadets go out and drive because of their safety. So we're hoping we don't get canceled. We had two new cadets join us in the past week, which is really nice. One a 12 and a 13 year old young man. So that's kind of exciting. They're just, you know, at the very beginning of learning and seeing what cap can do for them. Now this one, my package has a wrinkle in it, so I couldn't get it to pour nicely into the container, is why I chose to dump it in my boat. Ooh, even more three tens. Wow, a whole lot of three tens. 33, 71. I didn't even make a sticker for that one. How did I miss that one? 3371. I definitely need a sticker for Put it in upside down. Goodness. So let's pull this one off so I don't make a mistake again. Look at there. 
And sometimes this time of night when I start getting tired, you just never know what I'm going to start thinking and saying and doing. If nothing else, I can be your entertainment. Make you laugh. I think another reason why I dislike kidding up so badly is it just takes so long. And I'm like, just let me be done already. I'm always anxious to, you know, get started on this painting and... ago I ordered this one might even have been three if not longer since then I've heard that you know every moment's doing the poured glue now of course for all theirs but they're offering the blank canvases for people doing the cross stitch conversions and they also then are offering the diamonds for cross stitch conversions so that was a pretty big big thing for people that use the heaven and earth patterns or other cross stitch patterns and do cross stitch conversions that we can now get ever moment patterns like ooh that is a big thing 712 see this one's funny they gave me five little packages instead of one big package that doesn't make sense to me. Just give me one big package instead of five little ones. Because even for their packaging and such, you know, you'd think that the one big packaging would, or one big package would cost them less in packaging materials. my brain as I'm sitting here doing this is actually been singing songs from Annie I watched Annie the other day and it's been singing songs from Annie for three days now and I can't get the Annie songs out of my brain now I suppose it could be worse I could be singing Bob and Larry where's my hairbrush so at least it's, you know, Annie and not where's my hairbrush. There's, um, Veggie Tales, if you didn't recognize that reference. Ooh, that was a fat one. Maybe that one helps you. $37.99. I'm um, seeing my containers getting filled up here. I'm liking seeing that. That means we're getting close. I'm sure Sean's pleased with my seascape that he doesn't have to build a frame for it. My last two projects, of the Nativity and the Last Supper, both, he had to build frames for me. Compared to the nativity or um, the seascape, we bought frames for those, all five of them at the same time, because we wanted to make sure we got a matching set that didn't go out of stock. And we bought those like five years ago when I first bought that set. We bought those frames. So that frame has been sitting either in my closet or under my bed. I'm not even sure where it is at this time, but it's been sitting there for five years now, waiting for this last piece to go in there. 
It is about time, and I'm so tired of that painting. You don't know how many times I wanted to put it away. But I kept working on it and pushing. And then even now, I almost did some of the little owls that go on my archway into the my office. But I needed to do something that I knew was going to have nice symbols. And I knew an ever moment would have. I just couldn't take the risk again with something not having good diamonds. And my owls are all from Home Fun. And so far they've been mostly okay. But I, I, just, I, I needed something that I could be 100% confident was going to be good painting. Just to get me over the hump. And then now that I'm over that hump, once I get this one finished, then I'll be ready to tackle something else. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll be ready to keep working on that dining or that um, hallway and get that hallway done. Oh my goodness. Talk about leaving a lot of those in the container. Wow. That was pretty bad. Look at all those. Goodness. Not just one or two. Three hundred. I think we're pretty full in three hundred. Oh no. yet. Caitlin gave that to me for Christmas this year. It's got a birthstone of all five of my children on it. It's funny, as you start a new painting, my brain is so used to where the diamonds were in the last painting, as far as, you know, this based on the numbers, because you memorize where they are and what symbols go with them, and so now it's like starting all over again. No, 3371 is not in that row. 801. good to have this done and then tomorrow I'll be ready to just jump in. All I'll have to do is figure out how my new printer works. My old one just crashed up and crashed. It was very bad because that's the printer we use for printing shipping labels and it just decided one day it was done. So we had to get a new one and I have figured out how to do two-sided and I figured out how to do color but I have not yet figured out how to enlarge, which is what I'll need to do for my legend is enlarge. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Hopefully it'll be as easy as the other things have been. Let's 
And then um, when I need one of these colors, as I finish up a container, I just dump out my bag and find where the color is and dump more in my container. Sometimes if I'm getting low on several colors, I'll dump them all out and do just a general refill. I'll go through and you know, look at everything and pull as many as I can to refill instead of doing just one at a time. It just depends on my mood. I'm very much a uh, <laughs> change my mind on a whim kind of girl. What works today might not work tomorrow. And I might be really in love with an idea and then see something on one of the diamond painting groups that is just amazing that I have to change my whole process because somebody else has a better way. Because let me tell you, there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of diamond painters out there. And there are some amazing ideas out there from men and women who've been doing this a long time. 1 thing I do like about Diamond Art Club compared to Evermoment, Diamond Art Club, their packaging is not like this. So they're so much easier to kit up because they're in the zipper bags already, you know, one color all separated. So I'm not having to do all these individual little bags. It's just one bag per one color. That's so much nicer. never forget when I first opened that seascape I think it was panel 2 that had packages that the diamonds not only were musty but they were they were wet and staticky it was so stinky and ugh. I don't know how they had gotten wet but they were definitely wet Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. It'll work. Brain says, okay, we'll do it differently this time. Here, I'll do what you tell me to do. Four, fourteen.
Tube. It'd be a good mailing tube if I needed it for any reason. So what happens is by putting these plastics up there, if I have a little straggler diamond in it, they're falling out on the table. So then I'm picking them up and putting them over on my trash tray. And then Sean will use those. He'll cast them in resin. Make a blank. For... He used some in his dragon project when he made the dragon sphere to make jewels. These just get so wrinkled and they won't pour nicely. And I have a hard enough time as it is. Pretty blue. I like this one. Even though I'm tired of blue, I like 823 is a pretty color. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm getting excited and saying the end is in sight, but when I do dumb things like that, it doesn't make it go any faster. Oh, 
there's my duplicate. It is why I had too many numbers. Remember I told you that? I said I had one too many number. That was why. I didn't realize there were so many left in there. Oh, it's kind of a hot mess. I know what color these cinnamons are because I have one color still missing. And my very last one is 3862. And unfortunately, it's not as simple as just pull the sticker off because it won't stick again. But that is easy to do. There we go. And as with anything, all this plastic just gets recycled. set up and ready to go other than I need to put my washi tape on and make a copy of my legend. So I know that was very long today. That was very long for me too, but I'm so thankful it's done. Hope that you enjoyed that at least a little bit and I will see you next time. Bye.